I got a comment on Reddit that pissed me off, so I'm here to prove someone wrong. Disclaimer, I'm not actually mad. I'm still here to prove someone wrong, because they're a fucking idiot. Not really. They're, everyone has their opinion. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. It's just the fact that some people's opinion isn't right. The debate is bottom dollar or fate bringer. Which one's better? Which one's worse? Why? My, I say, I got a god roll, or the D1 god roll fate bringer. I have the D1 god roll fate bringer. Hey, I've used it. <coughs> I've used it in PvP, I've used it in PvE, and it does nothing. Period. So, I'm going to grab my bottom dollar. That does double the damage in PvP, even though it only shoots a little bit slower. I'm going to grab my Fatebringer. I'm going to go into PvE, and we'll see what happens. I'll go into PvP, and I'll prove to you that bottom dollar is just better in every single way possible. The problem is I have to find my fate bringer because I did somewhere in my vault, I think. No, wait, there it is. But it's on my Titan. As is my bottom dollar. Perfect. Like, people are free to debate the stat, or uh, people are free to debate the weapons in this game as much as they want. It's just that you can't argue with the numbers, and it just so happens to be that the numbers are on my side. Because I've been using Bottom Dollar since I got it four seasons ago. Not this one specifically. But I've been using bottom dollar. Mm. I mean, at first, it looks really good. You know, 140 RPM to 120. A little bit faster. 10 rounds in a mag compared to 8. And the stats on the weapon itself look insane. A little bit less impact, a little bit less range, but stability, handling, and reload are all a lot higher. Yeah, the gun still sucks. I'm just going to do what my dad does. I'm just going to fucking go to Artifact's Edge and just walk around in here shooting things. There, there's no way that the Fate Bringer is better. Because I mainly played PvP for a long time. And still, it still is a lot of what I play. I know that the bottom dollar deals 90 to 130 damage on a headshot. This one can deal 130 damage because it has rapid hit. I can't aim, but it has rapid hit. Which means every consecutive hit does more damage. Let, let's just see. Let's see if we can find some normal ads. I personally think that Fatebringer looks worse. 
Like there's a re there's a reason the M4 is my pr is my favorite looking assault rifle. It's not very effective, but it looks good. Actually, that's not true. The M4 is an amazing rifle. Explosive Firefly, very powerful combo. Two shots, got those two kills. There's no at there's no enemies. I could do a strike, but it takes time and I don't want to do it. So when I'm judging these weapons, yes, I'm biased towards bottom dollar because it just hits harder. <coughs> but, like, I'm judging the weapons on how they feel, on how fast they shoot, how much damage they deal. There's no enemies down here, is there? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Alright. Just... Whoa. I'm not getting much recoil from this thing. Even then, the recoil that I am getting is extremely manageable. And with rapid hit, increasing my reload speed and my damage. This thing can absolutely destroy crowds and guardians. 5,833 damage. On a, in a single... I just one shot a fucking hobgoblin. Granted, this is a patrol, so they aren't, you know, powerful in any sense of the word, but still. I just one shot a hobgoblin, the annoying fuckers that are. Gotta love being a titan. Dense is lard. And I'm moving at 3,000 miles an hour. I always wondered what the fuck is that? All right, uh, small detour. Ah! I'm still alive. I didn't panic. You panicked. Hit the fuck up. They sure put this one out of the way. I was able to access their network for two cycles before they booted me. All I got was something about endless trees or forest. Weird. Uh huh. Anyways, I don't even remember what I was saying. Are there even enemies? That I don't remember. I I legit don't remember. I I don't patrol. I mainly play pre uh, play Crucible and Gambit. That's cringe. All right, here, Crucible. Well, let's let's play some Crucible. Control. We'll get the PvP test for both weapons. I can already guarantee you the bottom dollar is going to be my preferred weapon. Because it just hits harder. The, the rate of fire is so minimal, it doesn't change anything. I can still put out more DPS with bottom dollar. Uh. 
like I won't deny that Fatebringer is objectively not the worst weapon in the game. I mean, this exists. But it's also far from the best hand cannon. Like if you want to go to hand cannon, there's bottom dollar, palindrome, hawk moon, last word, ace. Those are all exotics, but you get my point. There are so many much, much better hand cannons that you can reach for. Come on. Let's go. I want to shoot people, man. Also, yes, I am unironically taking anarchy into Crucible. It is powerful as fuck. I, also, I did just get Sleeper. That's in a different video that I'm currently making or editing. Come on. Finally. It unironically took like 10 minutes to find two people. It's fucking stupid. Maybe Bungie started looking into matchmaking after I made that entire fucking video about it. Who knows? I don't think anyone's even seen it. Actually, let me check. I am quite curious. Control. Yeah, that was a few views. <laughs> All right. So just to give each weapon a fair test, I'll be using. I'll be swapping each life. So first life I'm going to be using. Fatebringer. Next life I'll be using bottom dollar. Back and forth. Back and forth. Zone A. Two for one. Those don't count for Fate Bringer. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. He would have already been dead if I was using bottom dollar. Because I hit him twice. And now I switch weapon. Try to go straight back to where I died. Zone B lost. See a bitch. Why are you shooting us, you idiot? Don't see lost. Double down. I want a five streak with bottom dollar and nothing else. And I just got one shot by Monarch. Oh god, that bow still hits hard. It's not even half. It's like a third damage. I got. I just saw a 36 on a precision hit. 30 fucking 6. My bottom dollar was dealing 90. Zone a lost. Power play. Enemy has your zone. 90 on the first shot. I have rapid hit. It goes up. Look at that. Even at that range, it still did 63. You can make an argument, but you're going to be wrong. There were just a lot of people there. <laughs> I kind of... Oh, we're also down a player. Great. Zone C captured. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Why is that a solid object? Why is that a solid object? 
Oh, so I didn't jump at all. So why did the f why the fuck did it just start levitating me up? That's the entire team. That is his entire team. It's not a surprise to anyone that I'm on the top of the board. I just went two lives in a row using bringers, still didn't get any kills. Well, no, I got one kill because that guy and I traded. That's the entire team again. This game is perfect, you know? It's not like we're perpetually stuck in a 5v6. While I'm trying to meme, basically. You shut the enemy down. See, he's using Fate Bringer Adept. He hit me first, and I still did more fucking damage than him. You can make the argument, but you'll still be fucking wrong. You're defeated. Again. Is key. You know, if only this game had matchmaking. Hint, motherfucking hint. This war is for game. Fuck sake. Fight How many kills did I have there? And I know I only got three kills with Fate. Three or four kills. Yep. Yeah, I only got three kills with Fate Bringer. The other six were with Bottom Dollar. This dude didn't die once. He's 1280. That I'm I'm calling it bullshit. I am calling some serious bullshit on that. Why didn't you find a good team in the first fucking match, Bungie? I sound so jaded and pissed off about this, because I am. I've been playing multiplayer games for most of my fucking life. And most games still don't know how to do a fucking proper matchmaking system. Yeah, we're going to be here for another hour waiting for people, so I'll be back. Oh, wow. A whole 20 minutes later, we found a few more people. All right, I'll see you at 3 o'clock. It's noon. So I guess uh, I meant 3 a.m., not 3 p.m., because it's still been another 10 minutes, and we found two more people. I, I can't be stuck in such an awkward level where I'm good enough at the game to get absolute gods, but I'm also bad enough at the game to get absolute shitters. I can't be the only person in that level. Like, I, I'm like a 7 on the skill scale. Skill scale, hey. I'm like a 7, a 6 or a 7, depending on who you ask. I'm not a 10, because I think there's only like 3 10s in history and Shroud is one of them. I'm not a one, and god damn it, every single teammate I've had for the last three and a half years has been, like, a three, at best. I'm, like, a solid six or seven on that rating. I can't be the only fucking person in history in that level. It shouldn't be this hard to find a fucking match of people around my skill level. Finally in a fucking match an hour later. It's, it's not even a joke anymore. Like, oh, I'll see you in an hour. No. Like, Siege did its whole bullshit with, oh, your ranked your ranking has an impact on casual matchmaking. So if you're a diamond, have fun waiting for four and a half years. I was plat and it fucked me over. I'm so salty. But, like, that bun Destiny don't do that. Destiny isn't like, oh yeah, you have to play competitive to be able to, you know, get 
proper matches. I don't play competitive. I barely play normal PvP anymore. I've been working. Like, come the fuck on, man. If anything, my skill level has gone down. I'm probably stuck at like a fucking five. Take those zones and hold them to your last breath. Yay. Zone A captured. Enemy claimed zone C. Enemy claimed zone Oh, and he's Enemy gone. Has advantage. Thank you for saving my he life. Zone C. You have zone advantage. I'm kind of just hot swapping because I don't know. I have two weapons. I want to use both of them, I guess. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of switching. That was laggy. Steady hand. There you go. That's another one. It doesn't help those being shot in the back, either. Oh, you son of a fuck. Zone a captured. You have zone he was one shot. One. That does not count as a fucking... Any gun in the game would have gotten that kill. Or any hand cannon in the game would have gotten that kill. As one. I love it. I'm sorry, why are there so... Why are there so many, bro? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I look down, I look down the steps, and there's just eight fucking people stood there with snipers and grenade launchers. And I think there was a two shot as well. That just two tapped him. Just casually two tapped him. You captured Zone C. You have advantage. Again. Wow! Alright, hi. Hi. A fire team that fights together stays together. Hey, no, you killed my friend. You, you killed my friend. Gone. I will not stand for such things. Your life is forfeit. As is yours. Get the fuck out. Ah! Don't even ask what the fuck has been happening for the last two years in my life because I don't have an answer. You took them. Now hold them. Don't spend all that ammo in one place. Ah. Oh, that's Bastion. You know, infinite one-shot the gun. AKA Trials the gun. Because it's the only fucking gun you'll see used in Trials. That's, that's like four people just sitting there. That was like four fucking people just sitting still on the stairs for no reason. I knew I wasn't going to win that the second I saw that dude pop Goldie. I'm sorry, I shot you. Is he lagging or am I? Because I can't tell. I think it might be both. A mix of the both. There's so there was so much happening. There was so much happening. <laughs> Someone wasted a super on B site or not B site C site, and there's no one there. There was me, but I died like an hour ago. I 
I couldn't see or move for a good two minutes. No, I haven't had my coffee today. Can you tell? This is why people think I need fucking ADHD meds. Because I probably do. I started this video to fucking bully someone on Reddit. Like... Come on, people. Even at that range, I just got a fucking 80. Oh, hi, Bastion. Alright, fuck all of you. Again. Fuck all of you again. Zone A captured. Power play. Keep the pressure on. Oh really? Oh really? I am single-handedly fending off eight people on a site. Where is my team? This entire match is... Oh, ouch. Alright, pretty much this entire match is going against what I just said. Of I'm not that good at the game anymore. Because I've been going the fuck off. Almost exclusively using bottom dollar, by the way. Zone A Zone advantage is yours. It it the rate of fire of Fatebringer doesn't help with the lack that the fact that it does no damage. I'm getting forty seven on point blank headshots, where I would be getting ninety with bottom dollar. Victory imminent. There is no way you can justify that. I think that slurp guy is just lagging real fucking bad. Keep the pressure on. Hey. A well fought no. Oh, look, a frozen orbit. That's actually a really good sniper rifle. I have so many of them. And it's a, that was a garbage roll. Let's see. 26 kills, 2.6 efficiency. You really think your fate bringer can do better than that? <sighs> Me and AZ Cowgirl, they're fucking tied for deaths. That's funny. I had 10 deaths? 10? 11? 30? I don't fuck it. I don't math, alright? Fuck you. I think it was 10. Yes. Alright. My bottom dollar has 40. My fate bringer has 0. Let's see where we are at the end of this next match in three years. Yeah, I know it's an ongoing joke. Shut the fuck up about it. It's ongoing for a reason. <laughs> Welcome back. After this match, I will make a cup of coffee. Simply because I need coffee. Coffee is my ADHD medication. And I'll I need the energy to start doing my work again. Instead of just sitting here and recording more Destiny 2. While consistently getting angrier at this one dude on Reddit who pissed me off because he said Fatebringer's good. When it's so so definitely not. Control. 
Yeah, I understand that you're entitled to your opinion on the matter, and you can choose, and you can use whatever weapons you like, but Fatebringer is not a good weapon. At least not for me, because I'm always stuck in fucking 1v9 situations in this game. So I need the gun that does damage, not the one that shoots a little bit faster. Oh. Aw, oh, damn, he's hurt too. Cowgirl! Oh, it's Cowgirl! Uh, Alright, she's on my team. Yay. She's dead now, but she was on my team. Hi! Bye! That was fucking perfect. You captured zone B. You have advantage. Ouch. That really hurt my face. My entire face is now gone. It's like Johnny Knoxville and Family Guy. I took an entire shotgun blast to the face. This is what happened. Well, I fucking died for one. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, back here. I got the assist. That killed him. And then I got shot by basically a shotgun, but not. Basically a shotgun, but stronger. Basically, I don't fucking care what you use. You're still bad, because you have to use a fusion rifle. Fuck's sake! High chaos reach? My team? Fuck me. My entire team just got turned into fucking sparks. Because someone pissed off Thor. Oh my god, the entire enemy team is using Ark. <laughs> They have three arc staves and a chaos rage. So Thor, Korg, Beavis, and Butthead. Oh, come on. Die. Oh my god, I've never had I've never had a better kill in my fucking career. Oh my god. <laughs> Zone A captured. Power play. Keep the pressure off. What? That grenade almost hit me in the face. Which would have broken my face. I missed. Wham, wham. I'm not even hitting shots anymore. Zone A lost. Zone C captured. You have zone Hey bitch. Hi other bitch. Is that an anti op D? It fucking is. Who the hell do you think you are using that gun in twenty twenty one? And not eating buns. 
Except you probably eat ass, so you're fucking bottom feeder. Yes, that was a joke about eating ass, because they have to use the uh, cheap weapons. Five minutes left. Keep it up. Hey, guess what? I'm gone. Traction? I do have traction. Why is my traction not working? Yo, that dude chased me around. Like, he was on my ass. And I, I, I just turned around and shot him in the face. I'll make it poor. Because you're a whore. Because I'm a whore. Fuck you. I've seen enough. I'm calling this one. Two for one. Three opponents down. Ah! Uh... You wage war like a true titan. Sound tactics bring victory. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean about anarchy being good, even in Crucible? You could give the Red Jacks a I got another bot. I got another frozen orbit. Friendly planted demolitions. That's not bad. I had a 3.0 efficiency. Cowgirls still beat me. Fuck. Cowgirl is officially the better player. I don't even know why I'm recording this video anymore. It's, I, I'm just playing Crucible. Alright, I'm gonna go make coffee, and then I'm gonna get to work. Thank you for watching this video, if you did. It started off as me wanting to prove this guy wrong, but it just turned into me having fun playing Crucible, because I'm using fucking bottom dollar and it destroys people I only got six kills with bottom dollar that match the rest of them were abilities I got 12 kills with abilities I didn't get a single did I get a kill I didn't get a kill with Fatebringer I got kills with fucking anarchy but not Fatebringer that is how little I want to use this weapon you know what fucking me I'm gonna use this loadout because it's just toxic but that's when I get back Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you didn't, well, then go fuck yourself. I'm kidding. If you're new around here, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, whenever that is. My upload schedule is worse than my...